Ja. Ja. Okay, champs. Uh, I asked you which shot you're struggling the most with, and all of you said inside out or inside out forehand. So we got Callum Champ here. He's going to demo for me today, and uh, we're going to talk about the common mistakes and how to hit an awesome, massive inside in or inside out forehand. Okay, guys, first of all, for those of you unsure, inside out forehand or inside in forehand is uh, Callum to show them. You hit both forehands, you move around your backhand, it's on that side of the court. And inside in basically means it's down the line. Inside out means it's cross court. So let's show them the difference quickly. All right, so inside in, show them. It goes down the line, around, beautiful. And inside out, cross court. Beautiful. Okay, so Callum is a perfect champ we can use. We're going to show you the common mistakes and also then how to fix them. One of the first mistakes uh, players make at the low level is that when they move around the, the inside out backhand they, they move first and then only they turn and because they turn late they're going to be late and fall out of the shot i want you to recognize how quickly callum the first thing he does is when he gets ready for inside out boom his racket's ready and then he can just hit it okay show them callum notice his turn go boom it's almost like his racket goes up and away immediately. Yes. Good. Up and away. Nice, Callum. Great forehand. Up and away. Okay. So because you're moving around it, you have no time to move first and then turn. If you decide I'm going to go inside out, boom, I'm ready. You can just set up and hit. The next common mistake players make is, and it sounds crazy, but you'll be surprised how many players actually do this. They, uh, again, this is to do with your movement <coughs> and you're going to be late when you do that. They actually, because they're so used to going for the backhand, what they actually do is they turn the body that way, turn the body that way and then they want to turn. It takes so, so much time. Right, you need to get the feeling and the idea of immediately, boom, I'm ready. Federer and Nadal, all the champs do that. One way to do that is you really want to make sure and this this is another tip that ties in together you're not you're not just shuffling to the side you're going to be so slow notice what the players do is there's almost like a half circle so it's one of the only shots you go you go a little bit back to make some time and space as you go around it and also notice this back foot this back foot almost goes like a cross goes across and then they, they back pedal it's almost like a back pedal so there all right so i don't even have to tell callum that he's gonna, he does it already but look at his feet these next couple of balls look at how he turns what his back foot does and how he moves around it he doesn't shuffle there's a crossover and it's almost like a back pedal okay so callum you just don't overthink it you just do it like you normally do because you'll, you'll already do it right all right go yes Notice how the back foot crosses the front foot at the back a little bit. Yes. And go. Beautiful. Look at the back foot. Look at his movement. Yes. It's exactly like Federer does it. And again. Perfect. Perfect. So just by those two things, the early turn and the movement immediately, the inside out forehand and inside in will be better. Let's move on to our last tip. Very, very important. Hey, guys. Last common problem players have on the inside out or inside in is it's do, to do with movement as well but you'll notice a lot of players going around it as they hit it they're pulling out of it okay so that's inside out inside in they go and then as they hit it the thing is it's so risky anything can happen all right again i want you to notice how callum moves around the ball and then he has enough time to get your body weight to your target okay so this is why it's so important to have enough time to set up and as you start hitting the ball your body needs to go to the target area and now this takes care of if you're struggling with your inside in more than your inside out it's just because 
you're not having enough time to set up and then have your body go to your target so if you're wondering why is my one is my inside out, inside out better than my inside in or vice versa it's because your body is not going to the target okay so Callum I want you to even if it goes in because you've had this problem before but you don't anymore I want you to on purpose actually hit the ball and then let your body fall out of it okay see if you can get it in go yes so it actually doesn't even look that bad but it is risky okay so that also happens quite often and again yes because it's very tempting you want to rip the body out of it to get more power but it doesn't work it doesn't pay off now i want you to get do your do your normal thing focus on having going behind the ball quick enough so that you actually have time to have your body weight going to your target you guys must remember because you're moving around the ball the body wants to keep going out of it right so you must make so sure that you set and then go to where you want the ball to go okay don't allow the body to go where it wants to yeah to your target oh so good man and again around all right nothing wrong you're allowed to miss again around to your target yes i'm going to give you a tough one see if you can get around it and then still follow follow so good kellen i have one more champ one more go oh it's heavy good job guys i can make this video longer but the beautiful thing is i don't have to that's everything to it your inside out inside in will be better immediately with those three tips thank you for asking me i'm going to ask you guys more often what you need to work on you asked me for that and there you go Karen. you're the best thanks for helping thanks brother. all right boy okay.